look at distributive property, which is known as FOIL, and I added a little extra here to the title. Then we're going to focus on working with factored form of quadratics. Okay, so this is our factored form of a quadratic. Um, I'll write it on the side here. So here's our factored form. And the reason we would distribute or use FOIL um, is to go from factor to what's known as the standard form. Okay, and there can be, a, sometimes it's just something like where a teacher wants us to express things in standard form. Sometimes we want to go to standard form because there's some kind of advantageous use of it. Um, it's unsure, but this is how we essentially do it. So we're in factor form here, and this is going to be the question we're going to use. And we're going to go from that factor to standard form. And the process is called, where is it? Uh, our process is known as FOIL or usually in the mathematical explanation is distributive property. Okay. Do you know what FOIL stands for? Uh, first, yeah. outside, inside, last. Outside, good, inside. Okay, last. Okay, so explain to me what that means first. What's the point of first? What's it trying to say? Um, whatever thing is. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, what are they referring to as first? Is that the A to the X, the 10, da, 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 da? Uh, I think it's the 8. Okay, well, actually, this is the second part of distributive property. When they talk about FOIL, they're talking about the two sets of brackets. And there's many ways we can go about this. We can decide to multiply the two terms first, um, or we can multiply the brackets by each other first. And since we're focused on FOIL, we're going to look at that. We're going to multiply our brackets first, and then we'll multiply by 8. And the rule is, um, in multiplication, you can technically multiply in any order. Think of it like 2 times 3 times 5. If I do 2 times 3 first, that's 6 times 5, which is 30. Or I can go 3 times 5, which is 15. 2 times 15 is 30. We still get oops, the exact same answer, and I know I did that fast. So first is referring to the first term in each bracket. Okay, so this would be the first term in each bracket here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the other part here, y equals x. And the first two terms we're going to multiply are x times 2x. Do you know what they equate to? Uh, 2x. 2x, something special. When we do an x times x, it's like adding the two exponents. Oh, so oh, yeah, yeah. 2x okay, squared. Okay, so... And that's because there's kind of a power of 1 with each of those exponents there. Okay, So we did the first terms. Uh, then we do the outside. Outside terms means farthest left and farthest right. So then that would be the x. And the farthest right would be the number 1. Okay, So x times 1 is just positive x. Okay? Then you have your inside. Your inside terms. Those are the closest together inside. So that's the negative 10 and 2x. So negative 10 times 2x is negative 20x. And finally, uh, L for last. The last terms are the last in each bracket, which is negative 10 and positive 1, which when multiplied become negative 10. And many people refer to this as like a, a rainbow method also. You take the first term, multiply it by both. Take the second term, multiply it by both. It's still working the same idea as FOIL. Okay, So that's what really FOIL is. We're going to continue from here. The next step would be collect like terms. So I still have my 8 outside. Um, the only two like terms I have are my red and green term. They both uh, have a variable. What's the coefficient in front of x? Do you know? If there's nothing there, what do we assume the number is? 1. 1, okay. So it's like positive 1 minus 20. Okay, so 2x squared. Positive 1 minus 20 is the same. When you put it together, it's negative 19x. If you need to use a calculator, you could. Okay, and then we have negative 10. Now, none of the terms left in the brackets are like terms. This is to the power of 2, this is to the power of 1, and this has no exponent, so I can't collect anything in here. So I'm kind of almost at the end. I still have my 8, so I need to distribute, just like in grade 9 or whatever, um, we need to distribute our 8. So again, this is distributive property, okay? So what happens here is 8 times 2x will become 16x squared, sorry, 2x squared. 8 times negative 19, that's a big number, that's going to be... A negative 152 x. Let's check with our calculator here, okay? Um, negative 19 times 8. Negative 152. Ooh. And finally, the last one, we have 8 times negative 10. That's 
negative 80. And now we're in our standard form. We have our A, we have our B, and we have our C. And none of these can be kind of collected any farther. 